Please join me in welcoming to the stage Dean and Professor Mary Ann Babinski. It's a little tough after that. Thank you, Chief Justice Bowman, for your kind remarks and for emceeing our program today. And thank you to everyone for making the time to be here. I'm truly honored to look out, see so many familiar faces, former students, alumni, friends of the law school, my family, and others. Today's lunch, I guess, according to the program, uh, centers on the conclusion of my role as dean of the UBC Faculty of Law and my return as a regular faculty member. And you've heard a collection of unbelievably nice things about me. And I think later on my family will be telling me precisely how unbelievable some of those things were. <laughs> so I'm, I have to say I'm, I'm touched uh, in so many ways by today. But at the same time, I have to admit, I'm totally mortified. Uh, and it's that weird mixture of feeling, um, you know, so incredibly honored and yet wanting to get up and make absolutely clear that all these lovely things actually are about something else, something much bigger and more important, actually, uh, than my role as dean. Uh, I think the only way I've been able to reconcile these feelings is actually to reconceptualize this event as being an opportunity to think about how important the law school is uh, to all of you and to the future of our community. Uh, and so I wanted to talk about the law school, actually. I wanted to talk about why I think you're actually here today. Uh, and I think you're here today uh, because of your own lives, because of the role that the law school played for you in allowing you to join the legal profession and to enjoy the career that you have today. Uh, I think you're here because you understand the way in which the law school moving forward is going to create that opportunity for future generations of law students that will feed the legal profession in British Columbia take leadership roles in Canada and beyond. I think you're here because you know the way in which a strong law school feeds service in government, service in nonprofits, involvement as entrepreneurs. You're looking at the role that lawyers play, not just professionally, but as people who give back to the community through social justice organizations, being on boards of different groups. You see the way that a strong law school makes a difference because we're able to recruit the best and the brightest faculty members, faculty members who are deeply engaged in understanding the law as it is and to carefully studying the role of the law and its impact on society, the impact on real people whose lives are affected, the impact on businesses, on Canada's economic future. And you see the way in which recruiting that, those strong faculty who are deeply engaged as teachers, uh, as people who are inspiring the next generation of students, but are also deeply engaged in changing the world through the research they do, uh, actually is important to the future of this province and of this country. When you think about uh, our law school, you think, of course, about how deeply intertwined this law school is with the growth of the profession in British Columbia. You think about the roles that our graduates have played, leadership roles they've played across Canada. You think about the international impact of this law school through the new Allard Prize for International Integrity, to be sure, but through alumni who are practicing in major legal centers across Canada and around the world, who've taken up roles in public service, fighting for human rights around the world, uh, and who in so many other ways um, are involved uh, as leaders in their own community. And there, too, you see the influence of faculty research that is engaged not just with what happens in British Columbia and what happens in Canada, but faculty research that's helping make a path for Canadian law, Canadian lawyers, Canadian uh, values uh, around the world uh, through the protection of human rights, the rule of law, and so many other ways. So really, the success of the law school and all these important goals actually depends on you. Each generation of the law school depends on the contributions of previous generations through advice, through support, through feedback, through what I like to call urging, which is another way of being yelled at uh, as a dean when you go into somebody's office and they tell you how unhappy they are about something. I call that urging. Uh, so urging to do better. Uh, and we depend on the contributions of wisdom, talent, insight, ambition, and yes, funding from previous generations. It's always been true. It was true when you encountered the law school, and it will be all the more true moving forward. We depend on you. During my two terms as dean, it's been such an amazing privilege, actually, to be invited from, as Keith put it, Texas, 
not necessarily the place that you think of finding a Canadian law school dean, but to have been invited here and to have been welcomed so thoroughly by the members of this community who are willing to look back past certain accidents of my birth and legal training uh, and to see that I was as committed as any of you to the future of this law school and to the role that it has played in your lives and will play in the lives of future generations of law students. And so in essence, I think it's a fantastic celebratory moment to think about what you have made happen over the past 12 years and what you can do moving forward. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about a couple of the groups of people who are in this room, uh, hoping that you'll be singled out uh, and that you'll know how important uh, your continued contributions to the school will be moving forward. And first I want to talk about students, actually. I've had the pleasure in the moments where we were all gathering, many of you perfectly calm, me totally terrified. Uh, as we were gathering in preparation for this event, I had the chance to run into students, students who were formerly in my classes, student leaders, who I had an opportunity to work with as dean. And really at the heart of things, those students have been my inspiration. And I think the inspiration for so many of you. Uh, when you see young people who are attracted to law school today, you hear about their dreams, you see their amazing accomplishments before they even arrive in law school. You feel such a sense of hope about the future and also a sense of responsibility. What can we do to make sure that these students have the very best in legal education? to make sure that they understand how that legal knowledge, the skill, and the ethics that we hope will guide them are going to fundamentally shape the society that we're in moving forward. What is our responsibility to them? And how exciting and energizing it is to have the chance to do everything that we can for those students in school, and then to follow their careers. And as I've walked around the room to hear about what people are doing now, their accomplishments, the ways in which they're using their legal knowledge and training, is sort of all the inspiration all of us, I think, would need. Secondly, I wanted to mention uh, the importance of the university, and we had the chance to hear from uh, President Ar Arvind Gupta, who's representing the university at the highest levels here at this event. And I have to say that the strong commitment that all of you feel for the importance of the law school and of the importance of the role that our graduates uh, and our faculty play in society is echoed and reinforced at every level by this university. There have been moments where the university has taken huge risks on the future of this faculty, and the building project is one of them. We were honored by tremendous support from Keith's firm, from Peter Allard, from, as you've heard, 675 alumni for that building project. But it didn't come all at once, and it didn't come at the beginning, and the university had to take the risk to allow that building project to go forward, even while we were drawing a community of support to bring it to a successful conclusion. And we are honored by your presence today and honored by the university's willingness to invest in the future of the faculty of law that's strong locally, nationally, and internationally. I have to also talk about uh, one of my great pleasures as dean, which has been to have meetings with alumni. Um, and I talked about being urged forward by alumni a few moments ago. Uh, but I've, I think one of the great pleasures is being able to stare in the one moment at the faces of our students and hear about their hopes and dreams, to meet with faculty and talk about what they think should be done in the law school, and then to have the opportunity to travel to downtown Vancouver uh, or to Vancouver Island or to Kamloops or Prince George, uh, to Toronto, to Calgary, to Edmonton, uh, to Montreal, to New York, to Hong Kong, to London, and talk with alumni about what they've seen as the strengths of our law school and what their hopes and dreams are uh, moving forward. Uh, and you can see the way in which your continued connection to the law school has made such a tremendous difference in the different things that have been listed as somewhat of an implication that they were my accomplishments. Um, but I think when you listen to that list, you will see all the places where alumni uh, have, had, have made such a huge difference, uh, from advising us, of course, on the strategic plan, from uh, serving in different advisory roles for programs, from volunteering as supervising lawyers for LSLAP, uh, for participating in career services programs where you do mock interviews, which we hope are followed by real interviews uh, of our students, uh, for the mentoring and support you provide through the CBA mentoring program for law students, for the support that you provide for student scholarships uh, and awards and student financial aid that ensures that our law school is accessible to all, regardless of their financial circumstances, uh, from the way in which uh, people volunteer their time, and I put it that way, for reasons that those of you who do this will know, volunteer their time to serve as adjunct faculty. Um, and that's because you receive an honorarium, which is 
modest at least, so you volunteer your time to serve as adjunct faculty and allow us to offer the breadth of curriculum that we never could offer as a faculty of 45 uh, without your contribution of time, energy, and support uh, for our curriculum. Uh, so I've listed just a small set of the ways that alumni give back, uh, and you know how important your support has been at every stage uh, and in every way uh, through encouragement, advice, mentoring of students, contributions that have made all the difference for student access, the building, and so many other projects. And I am enormously grateful th for the support that our law school has received from each of you. I also wanted to mention, of course, our faculty. Um, we have faculty and staff here today, and it's great for them to have the chance uh, to be in this room and to feel the sense of energy and support that their efforts have had from this alumni community. Uh, I will mention for those uh, who haven't been back to school recently that our faculty are amazing. Uh, we have uh, faculty members who you know and love, who you ask me about at every alumni event, who are the people who taught you evidence or federalism or constitutional law, uh, and who you look to for wisdom and support even today. And we have recruited people who follow in that model of engaged teachers, dedicated researchers, people who want to bring together the very best in knowledge about law, create opportunities for our students, and go out and change uh, the world. Uh, and so I wanted to thank our faculty uh, for their role in everything that you've heard this evening. I also wanted to thank our staff. We have staff, as I mentioned here tonight. Um, and our faculty and students and our alumni are supported by dedicated staff who work tirelessly with fantastic energy and dedication. There's nothing like going to a meeting of staff or working in some area like career services or admissions or any other area and seeing the eager look as they lean forward and say, we've been doing the these things, but you know what we could do? We could do this, and then we would be even better. We could do that, and we could do even more. And it's that sense of energy and excitement that helps fuel me and, and my colleagues as we think about how can UBC do even more with admissions? How can we do more to support our students in student financial aid? How can we do more to give our students the full range of career services uh, opportunities? How can we do more to make sure that our research has an impact um, across Canada and around the world? Uh, so there are too many to mention by name, uh, but I did want to say that this particular event, as it involves so many people from the external community, is an event that is so deeply connected to the work of our external relations team that it's important to mention tonight all the people who helped make this event possible, the people who work with alumni on everything from reunions uh, to uh, other activities, people who work on the alumni magazine, people who work uh, to try and secure support from alumni for the desperately needed programs within the law school. And that external relations team is led by Carrie Strelaski, who's hiding in this front row, as though you won't find her later to say thank you very much. So the combination of students, alumni, university support, faculty and staff have made all the difference for the school. And when you look back, isn't it unbelievable what you have all accomplished? I'm obviously humbled and grateful to be up here, but I'm looking out at the people who in every way and every day have made the difference for our law school. And there are so many memories that we share together. Everything, of course, from the new building, which, as we've said, it was sort of a shock to some that a new building was needed, but not to anyone who'd ever been in that other building. Um, <laughs> to the recent Allard gift announcement, which uh, both of which you could think of as the building in that gift announcement is creating the foundation uh, for the faculty's future. But I have to take note of the word that I used. I said foundation for the faculty's future. And a foundation is, of course, just the beginning. And for the future, I am so thrilled to be able to turn to Dr. Catherine DeVern as the incoming dean of our law school. She's a brilliant scholar. She's a devoted teacher. There's nothing like running into somebody who said, oh, I heard Catherine's going to be dean. She is so fantastic. Uh, and that's the person who had a chance to be mentored by her, who had her in class, who's been advised by her over time, and who knows that the future of the school is in good hands. So a scholar, a teacher, and uh, for those who don't know it yet, an inspired academic leader. Speaking from experience, I know that she will need all of you to help her map the future of the law school and to provide the fuel, the wind of ambition uh, and ha assistance uh, to help the law school achieve the future that is always lying before us, always wanting to do better, always wanting to do more for our students to whom we owe that great responsibility and to the society that all of you in your lives and careers touch every day from your work in the profession uh, to the work that you do in the community to make our world a better place. So I can't, uh, this is the most difficult part for me because I get a little emotional, but my family's right here. Uh, and I'm thanking them, but I can't look at them because if I do, certain things will happen, which will 
create a sense of a lack of dignity for the law school. So <laughs> they're right there, and they're amazing people, and they've sacrificed a lot, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And <laughs> I also want to recognize my parents uh, and my brother, both of whom have uh, provided inspiration and support in many other ways. So if this were a different occasion, if I was actually holding a glass of champagne, I would right now be lifting it and making a toast to the future of the Allard School of Law, which I know is in incredibly good hands with our incoming dean and with all of the advice and support uh, and the wisdom and guidance that you will provide to her and to the law school moving forward. Thank you so much for everything you've done.